Hi, this is Christian from Designworks team, and in this video we're going to be looking at setting up live video inputs. So with live video inputs we're looking at things like um, web cameras, uh, camcorders, um, IP cameras, and um, video input devices like capture cards. Okay, so how we set one of these devices up is very simple. Um, we go into File, Options and we go to video inputs and you'll be presented here with um, a list of available devices on your system and you can scan the system for devices by clicking this button here um, and basically you just need to choose a device that you want to use so here you can see I've got um, an integrated webcam which is part of my laptop I've got this analog capture device here which is a capture card uh, driver and I have two webcams here that I've got attached as well and this JPEG video source underneath is a, a direct X video input wrapper for an IP camera as well but I'm just going to show you two, uh, two web cameras so the first web camera is this one here, this Logitech one I'm just going to select it and then click the little cog icon down here and that creates a new device, a, a new configuration for the device okay and then it will appear down in the bottom um, box here and if you click on this entry then you immediately get a preview of the current um, feed coming from the camera now what you're looking at here is actually um, a camera that's leaning out of my roof window skylight and so you can see a live picture there of the road outside not a lot going on at the moment um, you can scale this window and the um, the image will scale so you can get a good look at it you can rename this configuration now to whatever you like you can give it a friendly name so I'm going, to, I'm going to call this one my roof cam and um, you can also pick a, a resolution for the camera from any of the supported resolutions so Zionworks will list all the resolutions that the camera supports and the frame rates of them and you can pick one of those and use whichever you like okay we're just going to set up another video configuration now for this Microsoft Live Cam here you can also just double click the device in the top box as well as clicking on the cog icon there, so let's just double click this one that's another entry gone in and let's click on that and you can see that's a live picture of my laptop I'm going to just change the name of that to um, office cam there we go right once you've got your your devices configured there your configuration set up they'll be saved now in the settings of Zineworks and next time you start Zineworks it will be um, restored and you can you can use those devices straight away so we'll click OK there now how do we use those devices those videos inputs well it's quite simple, over on the left we've got the live video tab and if we click here then we see those very two sources that we've just configured and they're both available there to use now the default one and there'll always be one default is the one with the yellow star so the roof cam is currently my default video input so what can we do with these? well the simplest thing we can do is to um, just get a feed from a camera up on the screen so let's do that let's take the roof cam and we can drag and drop into the playlist and you see the title of the playlist item here has got the source, the video input source in the um, title there and this theme that it's using here because you can theme these camera feeds as well the theme is a simple letterbox theme so it's just going to be a full screen just a full screen feed view of the camera 
let's present that now activate it and what we see over in the presenter area now for the live video is the two sources that we've got available and you can see currently we're on the roof cam and queued we've got this office cam here so let's just fade up the main display okay so we're looking at the live picture now and if we click on the office cam over in the presenter we get a nice neat crossfade to the office camera so the Zineworks 2014 has actually got a simple vision mixer built into it really here so you can configure video input sources and you can create a live video uh, item for your service you can film something going on and you can play the movie director and crossfade between action that's happening in different places pick which action you want to see and crossfade to it so that's one way of using the um, live video inputs there's another very interesting way of, of using live video inputs which is to blend the uh, the live video with another kind of thing that you're presenting like a song or a, a scripture passage or something so let's go ahead and get a song pop it into the playlist let's pick um, when I survey the wondrous cross let's drop that into the playlist okay we'll just present that and see what we're what we're looking at with the default theme okay so it's not very useful at the moment we're going to make this one a bit more interesting because we're going to use it with live video so I'm going to apply a theme that's um, tailor-made for that which is this one here, this lower third alpha theme. So this has got um, a text area at the bottom of, the, of the, the screen and the rest of it is available for the, for the picture. So I'm just going to apply this theme, drag it over to the target area and drop. And then we see the theme being applied. So what you can see over in the presenter area is all the slides which are now very long and thin because we can only fit two lines on each um, slide and we can cycle through these as people are singing the song and we can use it like this now the interesting thing is imagine that we have a, um, a camera feed on the musicians perhaps that are, that are um, singing this song at this time well we could cut to that camera now and actually display that camera feed in the background replacing the current picture there that's, at the, that's there at the moment. Now the way that that works is using this little button over here which is the camera override replace background with live video. So all you need to do is just click that and there you have it. The background has been replaced with a live camera feed and we can still present the song and if we toggle it again we go back to the background that we had and the other neat thing we can do if we select the live video tab over here so we can see the camera feeds that we've got that are live let's just replace the background again by clicking the toggle button and now we can actually swap to a different camera while in this mode by double clicking one of the video inputs over here to change the default camera so if we double click the office cam it changes that becomes the new default click it back again it changes now you can use these kind of features in combination with the um, hide foreground button here let's try, let's try that and see the, the text go out there and bring the text back in and let's just toggle out the camera again oh there goes a car just to prove it's a live video feed and toggle it back and of course we could have had um, uh, a video background in there let's just pop a, a different 
the video background in just to see that working. So we've got a video going there. And we toggle to the live camera. See the car going back. And we toggle back to the video again. And then we can just fade the whole thing out back to the logo screen. There we go, that's a whistle stop tour of live video. I hope that you can make some use of that. Thanks for watching.